Around 5,000 Dundee fans made the trip to Kirkcaldy knowing full well that a point would be enough to ensure Premier football next season. Predictably, Jimmy Nicholls' side were out to spoil the party though and settled down to control the first half. Danny Lynn in a recent Den signing target came close in the 12th minute but the ball took a deflection off Craig Dargo, much to the relief of the travelling support. Into the second half and Lennon again instigating the Wraith attack. A dangerous long ball upfield. Paul Hartley runs onto it and fires low past Robert Douglas. 1-0. Hartley rides Robert Wraithside's tackle and keeps his cool for the precision finish. This goal seemed to inspire Dundee though. The players really fired up to earn that elusive point. Ian Anderson's careful surveillance of the goal mode certainly paid off when he spotted Eddie Anand unmarked at the far post. A powerful header from the Dens hitman to level the score, one each. Anderson knows exactly where the ball has to go, and so does Anand. The back of the net. Just minutes later, Dundee almost took the lead. Anderson with the cross, the Rayside's header denied by the crossbar. Wraith had one last chance to disrupt Dundee's party plans. Paul Hartley with the inswinger, but Andy Walker becoming handy walker here, punching the ball into the net. Maradona would have been impressed by this effort, but the referee certainly wasn't. However, time ran out in Wraith and Dundee began celebrating as First Division champions. They've dominated this league from day one, and with four games left, the team brought together by John McCormack and guided over the finish line by Jockey Scott can relax and prepare for life in the top flight. A deserved lap of honour for the team who remain undefeated away from home, and after four years in the first division, there's plenty to sing about, with some players getting carried away with the emotion of it all. 69 points from 32 games clinching the title, the breakdown needing 20 wins, 9 draws and only 3 defeats. They're a squad of players full of determination that probably have very sore heads.